welcome back and we are jumping into our third conversation of the morning or I should say kicking into the first Ooh, conversation I like of the that. morning. <laughs> and it's all about the upcoming Belize versus Bermuda football game. Mm -hmm. And of course, we can't talk about the game without the folks here from the Football Federation. We have with us Marlon Kewin and he is the chairman of the national team committee. And also Ian Jones, and he is the national team manager. Good morning, Good morning. gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks Good morning. for coming. Thank you for having us. Yes. Belize versus Bermuda. So we've been seeing um, most of these matches here and there. Uh, the last match that I know I went to see was the Belize and Guatemala game. Okay. So let's talk about these matches. What do they mean for Belize, and where are we right now in the ranks? Before we go there, how was the game? Did you enjoy it? I will not say what happened. No, I mean, <laughs> I'm asking your experience, experience of the game. I, yes. I bias. I love a good football game. Okay. I'm going to sit. I'm going to watch. I'm going to shout at the players. Like, if I know how mm -hmm. to play, I, I will do all of so the So you things. love the game? I, I do. I so very it was much a do. good football game? It was a good football game, but I was still mad. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> well, um, we're in this edition of the CONCACAF Nations League. Mm -hmm. It's a tournament that is played every year amongst the different countries within, um, within CONCACAF. So mm -hmm. this year we were grouped with Bermuda, French Guyana, and St. Vincent. Mm -hmm. We've already played um, our first two games in September. Unfortunately, we lost to St. Vincent in Martinique, mm -hmm. uh, two goals to one. But the second game, we defeated French Guyana, um, two goals to zero. Okay. And in our group, French Guyana is actually ranked the highest in terms of um, country. They're ranked 15, number 15 in CONCACAF. So that was a big win for us. Now we're back home in Belize, playing against Bermuda. Um, we do expect a win. Our guys are, are you know, in high spirits, well motivated. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. We brought in some of our international players. Uh, so it's just for the fans to come out and to help us secure that victory. Mm -hmm. And our guys are coming right on the, 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 um, the tail of our female national team who just won two games in the CONCACAF, the CONCACAF W, which is a female edition of that, mm -hmm. you know, so um, it's a lot of exciting football. It should be, a, as usual, a, a beautiful game. Um, we have a lot of new, young, talented players to the team. It's not the same. I know the public <laughs> always said this. We try to see the same old faces and not... It's not the same old faces. We have yeah. They weren't the same old faces from the last game. I, I definitely see new, vibrant players. Yes. How does the anticipation of this game compare to the one in Guatemala? I remember getting tickets were a nightmare, and they were sold yes, out, and people were. sell fake tickets. And that's a it good thing. A, it's oh, a well, great that's thing. Not a no, 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 no. I'm just saying, you know, people, no people were... Tickets. People were... The game was sold the game out. Was the sold arena out. was yes, full. Yes. People were sitting on, like... Hang their foot hanging by the thing, mm -hmm. you know, it was a great, great match. So how, do, the, how well, does the Whenever we play compare? Central American countries, I mean, I guess because of our like, location and the diversity of people we have here, we always get a, a sold out crowd. Um, when we play the, the uh, Caribbean countries, we depend mostly on our Belizean fans. Mm -hmm. um, and unfortunately, we don't always get that same sold out crowd. We'd want Mm -hmm. the fans to come out because really and truly it changes the entire atmosphere of the game it, does. it, really, it really really does, does you know so yeah. we're expecting um you know a good turnout we'd want uh, we'd want to pack and fully stadium mm -hmm. because our, our players really really appreciate it yeah. and we're going for the win i want to go to your point uh, mentioned about uh, having new vibrant faces yes. how do you go about searching for new talent and mm -hmm. making sure that uh as many people as possible who's actually skillful in football get mm -hmm. a chance to represent? Well, um, basically, we target the Premier League of Belize, which is the top level of football in Belize. Um, it, it is fair enough to say that if you are one of the top footballers in Belize, you would be playing with one of the top, the top league clubs. Mm -hmm. Also, we have Belizeans who are playing outside of Belize in professional leagues. We have Belizeans who are playing... Um, in college, college football based on a program that we've started last year mm -hmm. where we sent out uh, it's almost 20 students to yeah, go and I play college that. ball. So, so that's, that's really and truly where we, um, we draft our players. With this team, it's a real diverse selection of players from north to south. Like in every, from every district, we have mm -hmm. players being represented on this team. You know, and the, the average age of the players, with the exception of maybe one or two veterans that we still brought in, 
but it's around 23, 24 years old, which is very good. It means yeah. that for the next five to 10 years, we could build on, on that program around them. Yeah. Marlon, let's talk about the national team itself and the, the management aspect anyway. The, using the Football Federation to assist our team here in Belize, our collaborators and stakeholders across the region and in North America. Um, what are we doing to support and finance our players? It has been very challenging because, uh, <clears throat> one, there's this perception, it's, it's sort of a reality that, that, that FIFA gives us a whole lot of money. Mm -hmm. But those comes with some serious stipulations. And um, one of them is, is that we can't, we, we can't spend it on a senior national team. Mm -hmm. And so finding uh, funding for it um, is, 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 has been very difficult. But we manage, and um, it's not where we, we are not where we want to be. Mm -hmm. um, but um, we have BTV that came on board and has been helping a lot, um, thanks to Ian also. Mm -hmm. um, but we need, we're, we're, we're trying to, <laughs> to get other com uh, uh, entities on board. Mm -hmm. um, when you're losing, nobody wants to be associated with you, but now we're starting, we're, 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 in the right, we're going in the right mm -hmm. direction now. And um, that's why we need the fans out tonight because the players will tell you um, they feed off that energy. Yes. Yes. And uh, we have a very good opportunity to, to, to uh, come out of this group on top mm -hmm. and then advance to a higher level. Mm -hmm. And um, once we win these two games, at least get four points, um, we could be leading the, the group. So, yeah. So what's the preparation like for the players? Well, well um, at, at this level of football, professional players, which all of your players could be considered being at the other play of the top league or, or pro teams, they're only released from their clubs a week or so before a match. Oh, mm -hmm. So even if we'd want to do, I mean, people always say, oh, you need a month, two months. It is expected at this level that, for one, you, you should come at the national team in, in a certain physical condition. Yeah. So we wouldn't waste time trying mm -hmm. to get you into condition. So it's yeah. mostly working around the technical and the tactical aspects of yeah. the game. Mm -hmm. So I was... Uh, yeah. I was going to ask then, does it make a difference uh, if uh, they're not able to play together mm. for a while before to, to learn each other? Well, the beauty about this team right now is that most of the players have come up through our different programs okay. from U15, U17, U20. So at some point so they cross familiar, paths. They are familiar with playing into each other. And I mean, they compete against each other on a weekly basis within the top league. Okay. So um, the chemistry is there. Um, the talent definitely is there. We were seeing more. In the past, we used to have our, our strategy for football was kick the ball, strike a run, kick the ball. We don't do that anymore. We're mm. playing more pattern football. You can see more passes, more touches amongst the players, more tactical, um, offensive and defensive mm -hmm. drills. So mm -hmm. it's completely yeah. different. We've developed a style of play, and we're using it from the youths. Mm -hmm. And the more repetitions and the more games they play, they get used to it. Yes. So by the time they get to the senior level now. They already, you know, it's it's, it's yeah. and, and I want to touch. Mm -hmm. I want to touch a little bit on what Marlon was saying in <coughs> terms of the financing, and, and I'll, I'll I'll break it down. Yeah. For this tournament, Concacaf gives us um, a total of about a hundred and seventy thousand US for six to cover six games, mm -hmm. and that's for the male. Mm -hmm. And for the females, it was twenty five thousand US for six games. So just the first two the games. The inequality. I, I agree with you, but that's a different conversation for a different day. Yeah. So for the first two games alone, for the male, we have spent just on transportation, accommodation, and food. Those were road games. We've spent over 300000 And on top of that, we still give the players, um, both males and females, a, a daily stipend, stipend mm -hmm. of about $100 a day. So we, have, we just covered two games, male and female, so far, and we have four more left. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, um, BTB uh, has, and I, I want to say it, thanks to the BTB and the Minister of Tourism, has come on board as our first major corporate sponsor to assist. But mm -hmm. even with that assistance, there's still a major shortfall in terms of, you know, f um, the funding. And like Marlon also has said, most of the money that FIFA sends is stipulated for youth development. It has mm -hmm. to be spent on developing the, the, the younger players, the youth national teams. We can't spend it on paying players. We can't spend it on, on any type of logistics for the senior national team. And that's where the challenge comes in because we want to invest in our athletes and the idea mm -hmm. is to 
have these these kids or these adults that are obviously skilled and gifted in the sport <coughs> to dream big and yes. to think that they can that that can be their primary source of, of yes, income of but income. we can't afford yes, that we here can't in Belize. afford it i mean it's not only in belize it's across the entire and i'll say caribbean region because mm -hmm. we're we're so smaller country. state smaller population yeah. um you know we have less corporate interests and um I know in other countries, when you, when you donate to sporting cars, you could write it off on tax breaks. We don't do that in Belize. Mm -hmm. So really and truly, when an organization donates to sports, football or whatever sports, it's just because. It's not because they're getting back any type of uh, return wow. from government or anything like that. Wow. So we have to be the motivators of indeed, our indeed, team indeed, if we indeed. want to see them come on top. Indeed. So then my question is, how do you promote football to allow... Uh, these companies to buy into the sport and the development of the sport, even if they're not going to benefit well, it's back? A, it's a chicken and egg scenario. Which mm -hmm. comes first? No, businesses are in the business of making money. Mm -hmm. um, and they will not brand their company with losers. Mm -hmm. So if we're losing, they won't, you know. So they have to keep winning. They, we have to keep winning. But yeah. to win, we need to invest mm -hmm. in the sport so that the players are properly developed. Yep. So it's a proper business. You have yes, to give indeed, so indeed. that you can get profit. Mm. Yeah, and then when you know we we managed to to, uh, to get rid of the the, 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 the the bad image that we had years mm -hmm. ago with the federation and and that has taken some some hard work but we have managed to do it. And so now more and more uh, companies are showing interest mm -hmm. but they more show interest in the youth and the the, the, uh, the other um, younger uh, you know um, uh, sections of the federation mm -hmm. rather than the senior a team mm -hmm. but so but we need to continue to push yeah. and, and if and like we're going the right we're trending in the right direction now so uh, that will help hopefully all right well the game comes up uh, if belize places if we win what happens next well for for this edition of the nations league it's uh basically like a preliminary for two things one we have world cup qualifiers next week mm -hmm. So we need to rank within the top 28 of CONCACAF so that we could go straight into the group stage. Mm. So we'll play more games against more countries. If we, if we rank less than that, then it'll be just two games, knockout, you lose, you, you're out. Okay. Wow. You know, okay. so um, that's the main thing. The second thing is that if we top our group, then we advance to League A. The, the, the tournament is separating the three different leagues, League A, B, and C, depending on your ranking. Mm -hmm. If we go into League A, then basically we have one foot into the Congo Cup Gold Cup, mm -hmm. which is the, the, that's like the World Cup of our region. That's yeah. what we, all the countries look forward to mm -hmm. participating in. And that's when, you know, more funding starts to come in. Sponsors start to, like Adidas, Nike start mm -hmm. to want to, to sponsor your clubs, you know. Um, the broadcast, um, marketability of the, of the team goes up, so... Yeah comes with all the perks it comes with the perks but it comes with with a lot more hard work yeah. and yeah, work. I'm speaking just now I mentioned about the females only it's because based on ranking the females are in League C mm -hmm. but the way they're playing they're definitely going to top League C and advance up to League B so next year they'll they'll be getting more funding and, and, and that sort of oh, stuff I was just gonna say it's just the complete and total bias and no no it's not it's not that is just the, the way the organization structures the tournament no yeah. we've, we've I'll tell you we put a lot a lot of effort into um, in the promoting um, female football yes so the event is tonight tonight at, at 8, 8 p.m. at the FFB stadium mm -hmm. we've put the tickets at only $20 so that the fans could, you know, come out, enjoy. Also, we're having like a pre-game event where we'll have food vendors, um, bars, drinks, music. margaritas, music, you know. So you could come out from early. It's a Friday night. Um, there's a heat wave passing, so don't stay in the house. Come out, enjoy the night, come drink some margaritas, eat some food, you know, dance some punta and, and get ready <laughs> and get for the game. Get early. Get there early. Yes. yes. For parking. Yes. For parking. For good seats. You know the last game that we had and that's what I said it was it was completely sold out, Sabrina. I thought I was doing like, you know, the the early bird thing by getting there at like seven fifteen. <laughs> wow. What? It was already packed. There was no parking. There was nowhere to go. The line was all the way by Yim San. It was insane. Sanity. For, so for that game, for that game. Guatemalan fans were out there from 2 p.m. I, I, wow. I saw the bus. Yeah, 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 I saw the bus. Waiting, yeah. waiting. It, it, yes. it was incredible. So we want that same energy, energy. people, yes, yes. for indeed. this game tonight. Um, Ian, Marlon, thank you both so much thank for coming in. And we do hope us. that you get the stadium as Back. full as it possibly can be.
Thank you. We gotta take the break, Sabrina. Yeah. When we come back, it's Friday the 13th. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>